Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're well. Uh, very, very quick video for you today. This is probably the most simplest patch I've ever put together. Uh, I had to put this together for somebody. I had to put this together for my son. Uh, he likes uh, not too much drive, but there is quite a bit of drive in this, obviously because kind of dad's forcing it on him. Uh, doesn't like a shitload of delay either. Uh, so I'll go through what is going on uh, once this computer decides to reconnect so there's two snapshots on this there's a clean and a drive and that's it it's very very simple easily kind of put together uh and like i said in the the thumbnail it's sometimes with the stock cabs when you're kind of looking for a tone that's in your brain you're not always going to get it using the 4x12 cabs and it's really really cool to kind of just separate the amp and cab and just go through different cabs where you wouldn't normally look so the 1x10 and the 2x12 cabs are really worth a look at and I encourage you to kind of really go and dig into them because if you kind of mix and match, even if you took a really powerful, uh, you know, overdriven amp, like a, an angle or the Rev Gen Red or whatever, and put that through a 2x12 cab and had a little dial in with it, you'd be quite surprised just how good it sounds. Uh, because obviously a 4x12 cab gives you this and a 1x10 gives you this and a 2x12 gives you this. Always thinking about the boobs. So let's start at the beginning. So on the clean, there's no compressor. There's no compressor in this at all. And what I've done is at the front, I've just used the kinky boost. I've turned the drive off, put the boost on, put the bright on. Uh, then the amp, uh, I've kept the drive at 4.1, pulled back the bass up the mids, uh, adjusted the channel volume for the snapshot, pulled the sag back, pulled the master back a little bit, hum and ripple off. <sighs> and pulled the bias back a little tiny bit as well, so it wasn't too insane. For the clean, the mix of the Trinity Chorus, because we're in a stereo patch, is on 39%. Down below out the way is the Dynamic Hall. Haven't really done much to that, to be fair. I kind of just pulled the mix back and just left it alone, because it was nice. And then a simple delay, because, like you say, he didn't want a, a shit ton of delay. So he didn't get none. That's, if that's the game you want to play, son, then... You, Fucking go ahead. All right, let's have a listen to the clean. So there's still a little bit of grit there, still a little bit of a bite, you know, it's not like an 80s, like luscious white snake clean, that's because that's not what we were going for. On the drive, uh, what happens then is the kinky boost turns off and the ratatouille distortion comes on. Uh, and realistically, all I've done there is lowered the gain on that pedal a little bit and up the filter just to try and take some of the harshness out of it, try and take some of the top out of it. Uh, and the mix of the Trinity Chorus drops down, nothing changes on the reverb, nothing changes on the delay. It's kind of just there for a little bit of added tonal salt and pepper, if you like. That's a thing, tonal salt and pepper. Um, so again, you know, you, you could take any of these out or you could swap it to mono and up the DSP a little bit and do your thing. So let's take a listen to the drive. <laughs> It's a very giggable patch, even with the HX stomp as well. If you put this in the stomp, you'd get everything out of it that you wanted to. And I like now, I really like more so the, the 110 and the 212. And it, again, it's another area I'll probably move into with patch building. And uh, yeah, I like it. So let's flick between the two. I'll go from the screen to the clean uh, and the, the, the drive to the clean and the clean to the drive. We'll go back and forth between the two. It's been a long fucking week. All right. Mm -hmm. 
So obviously in that patch as well, you're not getting that clip in, in between the two snapshots. You know, there's no sudden spike. There's nothing kind of distorting. Uh, so it's set up really nice. You could go out and gig it, Helix LT or the HX Stomp. As always, thanks for watching. I appreciate you being here. Don't forget, hit subscribe, share the video, write some nice stuff, like, do all that good thing. Uh, and remember, it's not always in the 4x12. Sometimes it's in the 1x10 or it's definitely in the 2x12 because we all love that 2x12, don't we? Everybody loves the 2x12.